In order to set up a title banner for the collection list, we'll click on this top drop down and click on collections list. Once we get into the collections list, then we'll click on the title banner and boom, here we are. So this is our title banner. So the first thing inside of our title banner settings is we can change our layout. So we can change it from the global default to boxed to full width background or just full width. So we have some options in our section layout. We can also change the height so I can move it up or I can move it down. Right, so we can customize this to whatever fits, right? So to add the spacing on the top and the bottom. So if I move it up, you see that spacing on the bottom and the top goes up. I can also change its positioning from the left to the center or to the right. And the content alignment from the middle to the bottom or the top. I'll bring it back to middle, but we have, we have a lot of ability to move it to whatever fits best for our scenario. All right. We can also scroll down, go to style and change our title size from medium to big. Wow. To small, it's pretty small or base. I'll go to big. And also we can change the text color from black to let's say red or you know any other color like blue. And we could change within here to be able to find the color that fits best or we can add in a hex code value. If we just wanna leave it black, we can just leave it at none. We can go to background color and add a background. So I'll make this background, um, let's say red so it stands out. Kind of like black, so I'll go back to black. Boom. So now we have our background and it fits. See this styling fits within this height. So if I bring the height down, you see, it changes with the height. Okay, so what if I want to have a default background image? I can select one, select an image um, and add it in. So whatever image I want, I could either upload it or select an option here, like the booster theme logo and press select. If you look pretty closely, you can see it inside of the black. So we could always remove the black, press none, and you're able to see it. Or we could leave the black. All right, you can now see it in the background again. And then we can change the overlay opacity. So what that does is if we scroll it up, it puts like a little, um, gradient over it or what it does is it kind of pushes it more into the background so that our text stands out and i could change the different colors so i can make it red for example see so you can still see it but the benefit of it is it allows you to be able to leave your uh your your background into the background but still be able to see it but also be able to really make out your text title so you can really just play around with it find out what works best for you and use it. These same title banner settings can also be found inside of the blog setting. So if you go to blogs and go to title banner, you could you get the exact same settings. Once you scroll down, everything's exactly the same. We can once again add a background color, Let's say black. Ooh, and we need to have a text color so we can see our text so we can add a text color and we could customize and do everything that we want to do it works in this section as well the exact same way so I could also let's say add in a background image do the booster theme arrow press select that looks really cool and then if we want we could also add a little overlay opacity lastly something to note is if you want to change the name right of your title you can click in here right just click that and it will allow you to be able to change 
the title. Thank you for watching this video. Please refer to our Help Center for more information.